I've got behind me here is a 1981 Volkswagen Rabbit pickup truck. And we're going to go through the process of priming the diesel engine just in general. It could be any diesel engine really from the 80s or 90s. I think it's mainly got glow plugs. Uh, pretty much it's just a pretty basic, simple thing. If you can change spark plugs and you can do this. A lot of people say uh, if you run a diesel out of fuel, you're screwed. But actually, that's not exactly true. And of course, you want to have uh, diesel fuel in your filters. But usually, if you run out of fuel, it doesn't really actually empty the entire filter. So you'll be all right. Now, this is uh, just a quick little procedure. Uh, basically, what you want to do is is keep the, uh, the size wrench of the lines uh, and you just want to kind of loosen the lines just a tad. And what that's going to do is it's going to help you bleed the air out of them. Otherwise, you're just going to sit there and crank it and crank it and crank it and crank it. And uh, you're not going to know what the hell is going on. You'll probably kill the battery before you actually get the damn thing to start. So you crack the lines like we're doing here. And then we're going to uh, just turn it over. Don't make fun of my temporary seat. So we're going to uh, turn it over real quick here. Okay. Basically, we come back over here like this, and we can see that the fuel lines are completely soaked with fuel. So then what we're going to do is we're going to snug them back up. And a lot of people are like, oh, i got to tighten them really tight because it's a high-pressure line, blah, 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 blah. And actually, you don't. You just want to snug them up just enough to where uh, they're just snug. You don't have to really tighten them like that, like as if they're going to fall off or something if you don't crank them down as tight as you can. You know what I mean? So basically, that's what you want to do. Nice and snug. You can always check for it leaking a little bit later. It's not really a big deal. Nice and snug. Give it a shot. That sums it up. This is giving your engines run out of fuel where it's sat for a long time. You just crack the lines, you turn the engine over, check until the lines are wet, you snug them back up, but not too tight, and you give it a shot. There could be other problems. That's the place to start. Otherwise, you'll just turn it over and turn it over and turn it over until your battery dies. And then you'll charge your battery and turn it over and turn it over and turn it over until your starter dies. And that's no fun. So just do what I said. You should be good. Painless. Easy and free. Why not?